Today I show you how to find out if there is an AirTag, an Apple AirTag following you if you have an Android phone. Normally you would be able to find them on the iPhone, but if you have an Android phone, how do you find out? Well, that's pretty easy and two options. There are two options. You go in the Android settings, you go to safety and emergency here. In safety and emergency, you go to the unknown tracker alerts and you could enable this setting so in case someone is following you and it's not a tracker AirTag or other and tiles and Samsung trackers that are not from your account, not from your device, you will get a notification and here you will get a notification if a tracker that doesn't belong to you, that is not linked to your account is following you and I'm not sure about how long it would follow you but you would see it as a notification on your phone. If you want to scan for a tracker right now, you can do a scan now quickly, do a manual scan, and it's going to detect if there are trackers following you. This is a Google setting, and this is, I'm not sure exactly if it's working with the iPhone. I'm not 100% sure if this works with the Apple AirTag. It would work with most of the Android trackers, and I'm pretty sure 99% that it works with Apple too. But if you want to be 100% sure, there is the Apple app. You open the Google Play Store, very important. It's from Apple, not from somewhere else. So make sure when you install it that the, the developer is Apple. It's not uh, any other one. So you have Apple Music, other things, Tracker Detect, and you open Tracker Detect. So once you press install here, if you don't have it, but I have it, so I already, I already installed it. And I press, I can open it. And now actually, and the, the thing is, the truth is I didn't really, I didn't use this for a while. So we will find out together if there is any tracker. So let's see, you can do a scan. Shouldn't be anything, I mean, Unless it's from somewhere else, someone nearby, but I don't think so. It should be nearby, really close. Still scanning. And you can use this app if it does find something. You can make it uh, make a sound. So you can make it beep. The tracker will make a noise so you can find it. Even if it's someone else's tracker, because it was following you and it's uh, it's for your privacy, it's helping you to detect the tracker and find it and destroy it or throw it away or ask whoever put it there why they put it there. It's taking a minute of time. The trackers, the, the air tags, the Apple air tags are really useful because you can put it in your luggage, in your bag and or in some expensive equipment and you can always find it whenever they are, if a bug is lost in the airplane, you can find it where, you can see where it is, tell the airline where to look for it, and it's very useful. And it works by connecting to nearby iPhones. There is also the Google network of trackers, which there are many kinds. The Air Tiles, iTile or Tile, the Samsung trackers, but I believe eventually there should be a unified system where all the trackers are linked in the same network and they work together. So that's not surprising, no tracker found. No tracker was found, so that's, that's great. I can scan again, but this is what I wanted to show you. I hope this helps you. Let me know if you have any questions about the air tags and trackers in general from Google and from Apple and why are they useful and why are they dangerous sometimes in some use cases. I believe they could be very useful, but you could also be a subject of uh, someone following you and that's not good at all. Thanks for watching.